Hi there. A while ago I was just uh, looking inside of the market and I'm crazy about uh, emulators. I've already got the Game Boy Coid, uh, the, if, the, the FPSE for PlayStation, for PlayStation devices, um, but also uh, uh, SNES, SNESoid and everything uh, and just a little bit more but what I was seeing in the mark was also N64 OID N64 OID is, um, as you, is the emulator for N64, Nintendo 64 and you can, uh, at the time I, I could buy it for uh, like 4 euros and uh, just install it um, but when I was playing it on my uh, on my HTC Desire HD, which is which has got a single core processing, one gigahertz uh, Qualcomm uh, processor inside, um, I wasn't too happy about it because uh, the game uh, the games were a little bit uh, snappy. Uh, I can show you here um, that uh, the games were not responding really well. Uh, the, the emulator does this thing, you can save, you can load uh, anything you want, um, if I want to load Mario Kart here, um, you can see, you can see a little bit snappy here, it's nice to play, oh, but it's a little bit snappy, and it's not, as you can see here, wow. <laughs> That's not good, but you pay four euros for that, so I wasn't too happy about that. Uh, but it's nice to play Mario, and it's nice to show your friends what is possible on your mobile device. But uh, it's not for uh, amusement uh, to uh, to uh, play it hour after hour. But uh, when I um, also when I what I thought was uh, it's not really that good modified for uh, just a screen 4.3 inch. It's it's uh, normally played with. An, uh, with a television and uh, yeah, your mobile device, your smartphone is not uh, is not a television. I can show you. I can show you that. Show you that. Uh, but uh, when I want to install the thing on the uh, in the market, uh, by the market uh, from my uh, Acer Iconia, which is uh, which is um, with the Honeycomb system and uh, Tegra 2 device, a dual core process processor, uh, I, I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find it anymore because the the developer has uh, put it out of the market because the, it made the system a, really, a little bit slow. But I can sh assure you that um, uh, that the Nintendo 64 emulator on a Tegra 2 device, uh, at least with the hot and comp, at least at my system, it works really well. And um, I can sh show you here, if I go to the Mario Kart here, um, it works a, li a little bit better. I can just load it also. Oh, this is. Uh, I'm going to load, of course, Mario Kart because that to to compare. And what we can see is I was also uh, maybe it needs a little bit time to load. But when it has load, uh, you can do anything good you want. And as we can see, it's much more responsive. And also, uh, yeah, I'm stuck at it now. But uh, it's also really. Um, Really good gameplay. Um, the Nintendo 64 is, is made for a bigger screen, and when you're playing it on your tablet device, you are playing it on a bigger screen. You can also uh, put your uh, tablet device with a cable onto uh, the television, but uh, it will, so you can put it on a bigger screen. But I think uh, the, the screen on your tablet device, which is in my case 10.1 uh, inch, is really, really good. And the, the game is really uh, responding well, so you can, you can play thousands of games uh, for free when you just, uh, you just uh, use the emulator, and that's enough. Uh, but uh, it's a sad thing that they put it out of the market, because on the Tiger 2 device, uh, at least at this one, it runs really, really well. Um, we can save it here. Uh, so I'm not uh, now on the lead again, so I will save it here, but I will close this one. I can also show you another game, uh, snowboarding. I suck at this game. <laughs> Excuse me, but it is true. Uh, I can load uh, another load state. My character was already almost dead. No, I can put another one. 
but I think I think the, the graphics are pretty good. Um, you can compare it a little. You can compare it a little bit with your. Uh, oh, uh, you can compare it a little bit with your uh, Nintendo GameCube, I think. And um, yeah, I was really, I was really satisfied about it. And you can play hours after hours, I think, because you have a lot of games you can download for free. As you can see, with the HD resolution screen, uh, you can see uh, everything comes to life. And it's a little bit blocky, I know, I know, but it's it's good enough for me. And uh, I don't, uh, I think I think it's really good. And especially if you can download everything you want for just uh, for just free. And um, only thing you have to do is go to a site like uh, www.doperoms.com and you can uh, download any ROM you want. As you can see, I, the last thing I did was download Donkey Kong 64 for my uh, for my uh, Nintendo for my Nintendo 64 emulator, and you uh, you can download it and everything will be just fine. So um, yeah. I I can uh, if you don't if you cannot you cannot find the emulator in the market uh, now nowadays I think it will be it will be uh, disappear disappeared I will be appearing uh, not not uh, not after a while I think because uh, the Nintendo 64 uh, works really well on my Ace Raconia and I really hope that they will put it back to the market because uh, it's it, it runs pretty well and uh, you can now download it I think you can Google the file the only thing you have to do is go to settings in my case it's in Dutch but go to settings go to applications and uh, here they put this thing going on unknown sources when you put unknown sources uh, when you want to install also unknown sources this is also an unknown source so you go you got that thing going on and then you can you are available to install it when you just use your Astro file manager and SD card and you go to your download map when you are using your tablet device to uh, to search for the APK file but good luck with that maybe if you want to uh, if you want the APK file for me uh, yeah, you just have to uh, give uh, leave a comment on the se comment section below and I will um, I can and your email address and I can email you the APK file if you want but it isn't big it isn't big a problem to install it and I don't think it isn't a big problem to find the APK file but uh, if you want to help with it, you c I can always help you with it. But uh, I really recommend you do it. Have fun playing.